Hello Providence College hockey fans, welcome to This Week in Friars Hockey, I'm Nick Rojas. This past weekend the Friars were out in Lake Erie, Pennsylvania for the Icebreaker Tournament where they defeated Miami of Ohio on Friday night before dropping one to Notre Dame on Saturday. This weekend they host UConn here on Friday night before heading over to Connecticut to take on Sacred Heart. On today's edition of the show, we were joined by head coach Nate Lehman to talk about this past weekend. Plus, Spencer Young joins the program to talk about the defensive core and what he watches on road trips. Let's start the show. Friday night, the Friars took on Miami of Ohio at Erie Insurance Arena. After the initial moments of the game were controlled by the Red Hawks, the Friars took over. In fact, the first two shots of the game for the Friars resulted in goals. Can't get better than that. Greg Prince netted the first one to give Providence a 1-0 lead. Then Vinny DeHarnay took a shot from the point about a minute and a half later, and Bimal Sugamaran redirected the puck past Red Hawks goaltender Ryan Larkin. 2-0 Friars. Hayden Hockey and the defense shut out Miami. Hockey would have 22 saves in this one. Third period now and the Friars gave themselves some breathing room. Power play opportunity for the Friars and Spencer Young buries it in for his first goal of the season. He would also collect an empty netter as the Friars win this one 4 to nothing. We're joined now as we are every week with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, head coach Nate Lehman. Coach, you come back from the Icebreaker Tournament. What was your evaluation of the team as a whole and how was the trip? Well, I like our team. I mean, we keep growing, and that's what's, that's what's good. I mean, from game one to game three, we've gotten a lot better. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. I was really happy with the way Jay O'Brien and, and Jack Dugan played in the game as freshmen. Uh, you know, the first game they were kind of, I would say, a little lost at times, and, and now just three games in, I've really been uh, happy about how quickly that they've caught on with things. So that, that's good. And I thought we played a great game. I thought we played a great game against Notre Dame in the championship game. We played a great game against Miami to, to shut out a team, you know, uh, of that caliber that we, we had a good effort. And, um, you know, it just, it just didn't go our way against Notre Dame. But we went back and watched the tape. We, we did some really good things. Now, Friday night, you talked about beating a familiar opponent in Miami. The next night, it's a familiar opponent in Notre Dame. What was that turning point in Saturday night's game? Uh, probably when they shot one and hit off the kid's helmet and went in. You know, it was just kind of, we, we were playing a really good game. Uh, and it's just a, it's something that we, we have to bounce back. We have to, you know, like for me, that's the message to the team of you know, there's going to be adversity. It was the first time we were down in a game, you know. So, um, you know, I thought a little bit of air went out of our bubble, and that can't happen. We have, we have to keep pushing, pushing, and, and just stay with it um, because our chances were there. We were, we were getting our chances. We were making some good plays, and so we just, you know, stay with it. After Friday night's game, you mentioned in, in your interview that you'd like to see the team on the penalty kill less, obviously. Now, how does your team and your staff go about creating that on-ice discipline? Well, um, I think each of the games we've played, we've, we've uh, taken the first penalty, and so that's, that's not good. Um, it's tough because um, we met with our referee-in-chief. He told us this is the way the game's going to be called. You go back as a coach, you meet with your team, you show them the video, this is the way it's going to be called. And, you know, to be honest, it just hasn't been called that way. So there's some frustration between the players looking up to, at the coach saying, hey, coach, I thought all these slashes were going to get called and they're not being called. And, you know, as a team, we just have to be a little bit more mentally tough and just, you know, play it the way that, 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 uh, um, that the referees that night are calling it because, um, you know, that, that's the way it is. Uh, overall, I think, you know, for us, we maybe we have to be more careful starting games. I don't know. I mean, like I... Uh, you know, the, a couple penalties we took in the third period against Notre Dame were bad penalties, and that's not the way we're going to get back in that game and win the game. So those ones I'm going to show to the guys. we got to make sure we keep calling penalties in practice, and, you know, whatever the referees bring that night, we have to adjust. And now looking at the goaltending position there, Hayden Hockey only giving up about four goals in three games. What have you seen from him so far? Uh, just solid. I mean, he gives us a swagger. He's making stuff look easy right now. Um, He's just been, he's been a rock right now. He's, I, I would say over the three games, he's been our best player. And now Spencer Young joins us later on the program today. What have you seen from him from a maturity standpoint over the last few years? Uh, Spence, I mean, it's just more like when he gets his feet going, he's dynamic. And, um, and last year, the second half of the year, he really learned 
how to get his feet going. You know, and what we're talking about, about getting to going north. And when you get a step, we want you going. Um, he, he started to do it a little bit more in practice last week, a little bit against Miami, and he really got going against Notre Dame. So uh, we're excited with Spence. I mean, the big thing for him is he's a junior, and we're giving him a lot of minutes. So uh, we have to make sure he doesn't wear down and, and uh, he's taking care of himself and getting sleep and things like that. Absolutely. Sleep is important, Coach. Well, thank you for your time, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thanks. We're joined now by junior defenseman Spencer Young. Spencer, great to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you here. So you scored two goals in Friday night's game against Miami. What did you see on your first goal there? Uh, I mean, I found myself in the kind of the high slot, top of the circle on the right side, and Jack curled up and found a little seam. So uh, I knew the goalie was going to be sliding across pretty quick, and so I had to get on and off the tape and found its way in. Looking back since your freshman year, how have you seen your game evolve over the last few years? Uh, I think it's definitely evolved defensively. I mean, coming being a smaller guy, uh, more offensive and uh, passing and skating, but I definitely improved, uh, you know, my defensive abilities and and preventing goals instead of uh, getting them. And now looking at the whole decor, how have you seen that whole group progress over the last few seasons? Uh, I think it's been good. Uh, freshman year, we had a big old leadership group of Josh Monk, Florentino, McKenzie, and so us young guys like Vinny, me, Jacob, and it, it was good for us to kind of get that leadership and experience and, and helped us grow, and so now we're doing it to the freshmen now. And now this past summer you were at development camp. How was that experience like for you? It was awesome. Uh, it was my first development camp, and I was lucky enough to go to a camp with another teammate, so I went with Ben Mirages, and, and he had already been to one, so it was good to be comfortable and and it really helped me like perform the best I could without being too nervous. And now you've been on the road the past uh, past weekend here. I know that some guys listen to music, some guys watch TV shows, movies. For you, what do you watch? What to what, what have you been watching lately on the road? Um, I recently got into Man in the High Castle on Amazon Prime. Uh, I know not many people have it, and it's kind of an unknown show, but it's a good show though. I'm big into history, so. So I like that show a lot. Well, yeah. should I keep up with it? Because I've only watched the first like two episodes. Yeah, I'm on episode eight or nine, so it gets oh, really? good, yeah. All right, well, I'll have to check it out. Well, thank uh, you so much, and yeah. good luck this Thanks weekend. Thanks for having me. Thank you. For a preview of this weekend's games, we send it down now to Mike DeMars. Mike? Thanks, Nick. The Friars take on their first Hockey East opponent of the season as the UConn Huskies come to Schneider Arena on Friday night. The Huskies are 1-1 one one on the season, having defeated Army and losing to Quinnipiac on Tuesday night. Anchoring the blue line for the Huskies is senior captain Miles Gendron. The Huskies also returned three of their top six scorers from last season, including alternate captain senior Max Coulter and junior Benjamin Freeman. This year marks the Huskies' fifth season in Hockey East. They're looking to improve on their fifth place record last year, which was their best finish in league play. On Saturday, the Friars travel to Bridgeport, Connecticut to take on Sacred Heart. The Pioneers are 0-2 on the season, having lost to Hockey East member Northeastern twice. The Pioneers will be looking to get into the win column for the first time this season. They'll be looking to senior defenseman Mike Lee and sophomore forward Matt Tugnut, who each have one goal apiece on the season. The Friars will be sure to put pressure on Sacred Heart's senior goalie, Brett Magnus, who's allowed five goals in each of his two games this season. That's going to do it for the weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thanks, Mike. That's going to just about do it for today's edition of the show. Of course, thank you to our guests, Coach Lehman and Spencer Young, for joining us on the program. Friday night is hat trick or treat night when the Friars take on UConn right here at Shine Arena. Fans can participate in a costume contest, while there will be free candy and candy bags for those who attend. The Friars will also be playing Sacred Heart on the road on Saturday. Friday night's game will be streamed on Friars All Access at Friars.com, while Saturday night will be on Atlantic Hockey TV. Of course, you can listen to both games on 104.7 FM or listen to it on the TuneIn Radio app. For all the posts, pictures, updates, and more, you can follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's going to just about do it on This Week in Friars Hockey. See you next time. Have a great day.